Okay, so I just received the NXT beta from uh, Jagex. Now, I did make a rant about RuneScape not long ago, uh, and I said actually why couldn't they make a new engine for the price increase, but I didn't know about the NXT, so here it is finally. So I, I do give them a second chance, and I'm just gonna try out the engine now that they uh, made me eligible for it. So let's check it out, let's log in. Now it does say something about my graphics driver, but they are up to date. They haven't released a new driver in uh, uh, in quite some months, so I'm very curious. So normally the performance should be better, uh, and I expect it to be better, but I don't know how much better it's going to be. So this is looking pretty great. Well, the textures are... Oh, no, no, they're okay. Now I can see that there are some loading errors. I saw it on the list, I think. Um, so there are quite a, but actually it loaded pretty fast. Now the, one of the first things I can see is that not only does it run pretty fast, uh, well a lot faster, especially on the high settings than it would do in the in the normal JavaScript client, uh, but the draw distance is just insane compared to how it was before. Um, so yeah, I have everything on Ultra right now, well except for VSync, but I don't need VSync if you're recording, VSync is all automatically applied. Um, and it runs really, really well, so I have to say, I have to give credit uh, where it's due, and I, I have to say this engine is really promising as far as I can see. It's written in the C++ language, not in, uh, in the old language, so the, uh, it's a good thing because and I've actually read that they're gonna discontinue uh, the old client so that they won't, which is good because uh, it would be stupid to support two clients when we have one that's actually much better for everybody. So that's one really great thing. So let's go over some of the options, which I think is one of the most, uh, what, the thing that people want to know the most. So. Um, one of the first, but of course, yeah, remove the roofs is, is just one thing, but I always put it on all. You want to see everything of the game, right? So the draw distance is one of the most improved aspects. So I could remember clearly that it was always a fog far away and it would just remove a lot of things. Now, I didn't really particularly bother about it because you always look from above to your character, but now that you can also zoom more out, as you can see, you can, you can just see very, very far away, which is really nice, it opens up more more room, it, it, it makes the world more alive, that's one thing. So let's see the differences between low, medium, high and... Uh, so as you can see, low is pretty bad, <laughs> it's, you can almost see nothing, but of course it's gonna improve the frame rates, my frame rate is running at 30 right now, which is good, 30 frames per second for a new RuneScape client is really good, I could only have what was it, 15 frames per second, like half of the frames that I have now with not even all the highest settings, so it's really a, a big improvement, it's a big move forward. So low you won't see a lot, let's put it on medium. Medium is almost like it was before, as far as I can remember. Um, and then high is pretty far already, as you can see I think if I go further away here you can see it better. Um, well now the... okay. And then, if you put it on Ultra, you can see even further ahead. Now, I don't think that the Ultra setting is really necessary. I mean, you could disable it if you want a little bit of better performance, because now it probably draws like so many things that you will never ever see, especially not in motion. You will just not see it. But like that big building over there, that's one of the bigger differences if you put it on Ultra. It's pretty cool if you can see that. So, I have to say this is really good. Now the shadow quality, it's now on Ultra. There is one option here that just removes all shadows entirely. If you don't want that, I understand, but let's put them on for now. One of the biggest uh, improvements of the shadows right now are the cascade mapping. So it's a, a modern way, a, a modern shader to render shadows and now it actually projects it onto everything, onto each 3D object that comes in contact and even your character, which is one of the best things, one of the best graphical improvements, I think. So now that the shadow actually projects onto your character, you can see this, uh, which is really cool. Now, if the trees would sway as well a little bit, that would make it even better. I guess we can go to to uh, Falador to check that out really quick. 
Um, but yeah, the shadows are a big improvement as well. Let's see the difference between uh, low and ultra. Low is almost nothing. I guess only the objects that are close to you, as you can see, it already fades away. Um, medium is pretty much everything that is in proximity around you. Then the high settings is probably everything, but I don't know if the projection mapping is then there. Yeah, it's there. It's actually still there. So that's good as well. Uh, and ultra and ultra it renders like all shadows also very far away which is also something you might actually not want because it's a big overdraw for just a little effect that you probably will never see um, but one notable thing is that the frames do not drop a lot so the shadows are really well optimized for now now the anti-aliasing mode uh, to quickly explain the difference between FXAA and MSAA it's it's FXAA basically anti aliases edges based on the models, on the objects. Uh, so, no, no, it's uh, wrong, sorry. It's FXAA, is, it, it blends the edges on the pixels, so on the image entirely. And MSAA blends all the models, all the edges. It's actually more precise, but it's much more expensive. So, I guess for a game like RuneScape, FXAA is just fine. Unless you don't want textures to blur, because that's the only downside if you use FXAA. It's much cheaper but it will actually bl uh, blend and smooth out edges on textures that don't need to be blended. You see, so, you know, depending on your point of view on how precise you want the game to be, I guess FXAA might not be acceptable, but for most people FXAA is a good addition to the game. Really well done. Uh, but also expectable, I expect most of these settings for a new client. So um, at least it's really good that they're there. Now there is one thing, the anti-aliasing quality, I don't know how it applies to FXAA. Now for MSSA it's probably like uh, times two, times four multi-sampling, times eight multi-sampling probably. Uh, you don't really want it on Ultra. I can barely see the difference right now. Um, can I actually see it? I can barely see it, but I, well, maybe on MSAA. Um, Okay, now yeah, okay, now I can see the huge difference. Um, if it's on MSAA, so the anti-aliasing quality is for MSAA, and FXAA will not be affected by uh, the anti-aliasing quality, so that's one good thing to know. Uh, but if you're using MSAA, you better have a <laughs> good computer if you want to run it on Ultra, because Ultra is like... Yeah, it's very expensive, I think, so uh, unless you have a very beasty computer, it's not really going to work out well. Um, now, I expect to see some water, yeah, let's check the waters, which is also hugely improved over the old water, so now it actually reflects the environments, which is really cool. It's a very good shader, it's an expensive shader, of course, but if you can run it, it's really good. Uh, and it's on Ultra, so I guess on Ultra it renders all the objects around it. Uh, probably not players. Um, yeah, it actually reflects players. I, I wouldn't have expected this. But it even reflects players. And since players are dynamic entities, that's also a really good improvement. But once again, a little bit expected. Now, I wouldn't have expected that it would literally render everything on Ultra, but it really does. So that's a cool thing. On low it doesn't do anything, it's just flat water, but actually it doesn't look all that bad if you think about it. Even now, on the older client, it was just like a flat color, it was pretty ugly. Um, and so let's see the differences. On medium it has the, uh, re the refraction, which is another shader, uh, which you know, it, it makes the, the colors around it move, but it doesn't reflect entities, it doesn't reflect things around the worlds as the house you can't see it right now um, if we no sorry if we put it on high I guess it will already start reflecting yes but does it reflect the player oh, it also re reflects the player on high so what is the difference on the ultra I can't see a noticeable difference on ultra or high not even from far away actually so we yet have to see maybe what it will do um, Maybe it's my graphics card, my drivers, I don't know. That could be 
a, an issue that some options are only for really more recent graphics cards, I don't know. But I can't see the difference right now. Now, lighting detail could be compared to the shaders, I guess. Um, if you put it to low, as you can see, some, some effects like the fog uh, become less noticeable. They actually just disappear right now. Um, so, here it gets added. And then I guess for the rest, it's just a few shaders that improve overall. I don't think there are going to be many, many, many difference between ultra and high as far as I can see. Especially in a scene so rich as this one, I would expect more changes, but I can't really see a lot of difference. Then V-Sync, obviously, as I said, V-Sync is just to, to to keep the refresh hertz of your uh, um, of your frames constant, so that you don't have screen tearing, like your graphics card pushing too many. Um, too many images at once so that you have these lines that you see if you move uh, very fast but um, you're not gonna see that on my video because if you record at a certain frame rate it automatically removes that so but that's what the option does it makes that all your frame rates are constant so um, yeah and then the bloom bloom well I have never seen even well in the Older client, I could see more of a difference between Bloom and Bloom Off, but right now I don't see any difference. I don't see a difference between Bloom On or Off. So that's pretty strange, but it made things more bright overall, but now it's gone, so I don't know what happened there. Maybe they're gonna bring it later on to the game, I don't know. And lastly, another addition that they brought to the game is Ambient Occlusion, so for those who do not know what it does, it's it basically adds occlusion to corners and edges of, of the environment and the world where you know sunlight would not immediately shine uh, where actually light sources would not immediately immediately go to so uh, it's basically indirect lighting and indirect shadows that they add to the game which gives it more detail it gives it more shading and it just looks better overall and it's not all that expensive most engines can nowadays do that at real time before we used to add aimlet occlusion to the model textures themselves but now it's actually not necessary anymore so uh, that's also a great addition but as far as i can tell for these most important settings it's a huge advancement and it's a step in the right direction and you know if you ignoring my rant that I did before I think that this is a great welcome and it did answer already one of my complaints about a price change for instance so I think this is really cool and especially it guarantees the, the future of RuneScape in a way that at least they can now add more stuff to the game without making it like impossible to play now I have to see what happens in an event I can't test it right now but you have to see what happens in an event what happens actually if you go to the to the grand exchange or there are many many players in the same spot well and the engine can be really tested but for now I can tell that it looks really good and um, yeah I, I think this is a real uh, you know a, a, a big improvement for the game and at least it will allow JX to work a little bit easier with how the game runs, uh, how it is optimized, how they can add new content without breaking the performance when there are events. Um, so let's actually just get really quick to Falador to see where um, some of the newer, the most recent models have been implemented. Uh, yeah, as you can see for now there are a few issues with the beta, so um, a lot of things are not rendering. Uh, immediately so it has to load all the models as you go along with it but it loads pretty fast now it's just a few seconds as you can see um, now I do get a little bit lower frame rates here um, so I'm not sure if it is because some of the models are more recent or more expensive but then again I have to say that my graphics card is can be considered pretty old by now so somewhat with a newer graphics card will run this thing with no problems and that is I think the most the biggest achievement that they have made with the NXT engine so far so this is really promising and I am happy to see this finally uh, because this is really one of the things that I've been complaining about for an eternity 
um, because at the t even in, in, in 2006 there was like crisis and there were these huge advancements in engines and now with the Unreal Engine 4, I mean all these engines just run things at, uh, at, at you know, um, um, real life images immediately like real life shaders and a physically based rendering it does it immediately and then you have an engine like runescape who's limping behind on performance when it could have easily been fixed with something like this and finally they come up with it so yeah i have to give credit for them for doing that and this brings new life to the game now in overview graphically there hasn't been changed much i mean the the concept art is still all the same and I think that should remain like that because that is what carries the spirit of RuneScape but just in overall the performance versus the, the shader improvements is just incredible and for that I have to say thank you uh, JX so uh, this is really promising and well after all I mean if they make even more improvements um, I would be happy to, to simply return uh, and I hope that this will also bring in new players uh, to the game, although I'm not 100% sure if this is ever going to happen. Um, but at least this gives hope and um, well, I, I, I hope that as many uh, players as possible can test it out right now. Now it runs until the 21st of March, I think. Uh, so take your chance and test it out because it runs so much better. You're going to have such a much better experience than the browser experience uh, that uh, most people are still playing with nowadays. Um, so yeah, I, I guess that there are much more experienced players that can check out many more spots um, in RuneScape that I can't access right now. Like Prifendus, how does Prifendus run right now is, is something that's probably important. Uh, how does boss battles, how does combat work? in the NXT but you know just in general I can feel that the engine runs so much better and those things will just improve as well they will have improved anyway so um, just take your chance test it out and maybe I'll see you in game